Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM Final Mod Pack. We have upgraded to the latest nightly snapshot from 17th of March and also the newest Final Mod Pack version 1.0.3. And I have uh, looked if we need to upgrade our save and it turns out that we don't have to. However, I made some changes anyway and that's the surprise I promised you last time. So let's load the game and without further ado, <laughs> let me tell you what the surprise is. I guess if I show you this soldier, you will immediately see uh, what has changed. So what I did is uh, all the soldiers who had very bad psionic strength got uh, a minimum psionic strength of 40. So like, I don't know. Well, that's not a good example, but for example here, Chris Sullivan had also a sound strength of 1 in the last episode, and uh, Wolfpack, I don't really remember what he had, but uh, many people now have sound strength of 40 and nobody has less. And the reason why Ethan has 41 is because he gained 1 point in the last mission. So, the idea is that you have at least 40, no matter what do you have uh, at the beginning, I will change it always to at least 40. Well, that's also because, you know, even dogs have psionic strength of 40, even uh, Duncho and uh, all his clones. And uh, psionic strength of 40 is actually not that good. All the ethereals and uh, I think even sectoid leaders should have no problems mind controlling you with sonic strength of 40. However, we can improve like Ethan did and uh, if you improve enough to let's say 60 or 70, you will be a good size soldier. Not uh, the one for sonic attack, but at least you won't uh, be vulnerable to their attempts. And uh, if you look at Ethan, he has good time in it, uh, even better bravery now, he improved that skill as well. Excellent reactions, excellent firing accuracy, and uh, amazing strength and so on. It uh, would be just stupid for me, from me to um, sack such soldiers. So we'll give them a sonic strength of 40 and hope for even more improvement via experience. And uh, that's it. So I hope you're happy. All our commanding officers, where is our commander by the way, are now not, you know, sponge brains. They actually will be able to do something. Good. Enough talking. Let's uh, fast forward time. We have researched the explosive ammunition. Explosive ammunition causes violent detonation on hit, which is destructive to both enemies and the environment. Excellent. And let's uh, finish the incendiary ammo as well. Monthly report. Our rating is 1572. That's excellent. Almost everybody is happy with us, except for Brazil, where that unfortunate uh, alien raid mission occurred we couldn't do anything about that but uh, it's okay incendiary ammo incendiary ammunition releases flammable agent on hit causing immediate emulation of the target good next we'll do auto cannon i guess if you missed last episode we are just researching all the advanced firearms which we should have actually done long ago and uh, let's uh, start manufacturing them as well. So we have new ammunition for um, the heavy cannon, right? Armor piercing, armor piercing alloy. But what I'm interested in is heavy explosives. So let's do something like 25. And uh, let's stop working on motion scanners and assign 12 people on the heavy cannon and the rest well maybe not the rest 12 on the ammunition and another six on the alloy knives okay let's actually have a look at our financial situation looks good we have one free hanger so after this is done 
Oh, it can take a while. <laughs> uh, I will say we should do a raven, but instead let's purchase some engineers. For, uh, well, not that many. For a million? Yeah, 20 engineers, that should do. Excellent. Our seven bases are coming online slowly. And base number eight, I guess, will be, well, we have two holes, basically, in the Indian Ocean and here in the South Pacific. And I should actually have built this base over here to cover this hole and then one in the Madagascar, probably, or here, maybe at the southern tip of Africa to cover the rest. I may relocate this base at some point. For now, I guess... Uh, Tell me what do you think is a better idea to build the last base here to cover Pacific Ocean or maybe over there to cover Indian Ocean and the rest of African continent. I would vote for Madagascar but I will leave the decision up to you. Anyway, uh, we should have two more missions spawned so let's uh, fast forward time and here it is small very high going somewhere. Uh, I think we haven't shot anything down yet, so maybe it's time to do that just for the fun of it. It would be a day mission. Yeah, it would be actually a day mission. No, um, I like day missions. Let's equip the craft and uh, go for the landing site. I'll equip the craft off camera and be right back. And we're back. So this is our crew. Wolfpack, Bill, Cyril, Silver Knight and so on and so on. You can read it for yourself. And find yourself there. You will be having a lot of different ammunition including Magnum, submachine guns, shotguns and so on. And mostly with alloy clips which is excellent. We also have enough explosives. And we are taking two dogs with us. No tank this time everybody has personal armor which is excellent and uh, we are ready to go I guess let's just uh, follow them and uh, maybe a bit more and send the sky marshal right now UFO number 18 let's go okay so there we are what is going on? Sky Marshal, return to the base. And Raven, return to the base. Sky Marshal, new target, go there. Okay, that was strange. Might be a bug or something. I should have actually saved that and uh, posted on the forum. Anyway, let's uh, begin the mission before it crashes or anything. And uh, I'll equip the soldiers and be right back. And we're back. So at the front we have two rocketeers, Wolfpack and uh, Bill, who have a rocket launcher and an alloy knife and a grenade as well. Then we have Silver Knight, our strongest soldier, who has uh, everything he could <laughs> carry. So he has a shotgun with alloy ammunition, I think, submachine gun with alloy ammunition. A knife, a smoke grenade, normal grenade, high explosive and a stun rod. <laughs> Good luck with that. You're not very accurate but these are short range weapons and explosives and uh, stun and melee weapons. So you will be our melee specialist. Then we have CJ, our sniper, accuracy 63. Has also a couple of smoke grenades prepared. Actually take one with you into the hand already. Erbibo, Order Mind, Cobalturian, Savior, Zavis are normal troopers and then we have a couple more snipers. BP Roberts, Accuracy 69, uh, Rogular, Accuracy 60 and uh, Ape, Accuracy 60. Okay, a couple of guys have motion scanner just in case but we'll probably not need that. Let's begin. And we are in a cultivated land, some farmlands here. I guess we'll start by 
Well, this is not the corner, this is not the corner. Oh, we are again in the very center of the map. So, scouts out. Looks okay. Looks actually very okay. We also have a lot of cover here, but aliens have even more cover. On such maps, there's so many buildings. <laughs> Almost feel like uh, Battle Bunny LP. Okay, doggy, your job is done. Dog number two, run over here. Maybe you can spot something. No, not really. But there's the UFO. Turn around there. Open the door, maybe. I really love it that the dogs are able to open the doors. <laughs> That's really cool. So, let's disembark, I would say. Hmm. You need to go somewhere where you can't hurt yourself or anybody else. I would say over here. That's fine. Face that way. And same goes for wolf pack. Right there. Face this way. Good. And then we have um, melee guy. You will go here, if you can. You can, excellent. Face that way. CJ, you're a sniper. You need a good uh, line of sight from... Hmm, we don't actually need snipers on this map, but uh, come over here. Face that way, that's good. Order mind. What about there, with your assault rifle, you should be fine. Erbibo. Right here, maybe one more step. Seems okay, but take cover behind this tree. And two more, I would say. One here. And one there, savior. The rest will just come a bit closer. So... Everybody, a few more steps. We want everybody out so that you can get experience and improve your psionic strength as well as uh, normal strength. Next turn. And it's our good friends, the floaters. And they are completely blind as usual. Okay, you have only basically melee weapons there's one two i think you have no who has a sniper rifle cj but other people should have sniper rifle too for example bp roberts come over here buddy and give me your best aimed shot no line of fire well duck and give me a snapshot no line of fire either why not Savior, 67, go. <laughs> okay, I guess you need to come out. Erbibo will try, therefore. If you duck, maybe, you'll have a better chance. Hit and a kill. Excellent. So, Erbibo is not a rookie anymore. Now, the question is, what do we do about this guy? We can't use the explosives just yet. But uh, could use aimed shot on the on this guy. Yeah, <laughs> will not work. What about here? Snapshot, auto shot. Actually, this doesn't cost that much. Okay, what else, Bill? What is your accuracy? 53. If you duck, you might be actually able to kill this guy. We shall try, but first, let's explore. One more guy over here. That's okay. Come here, nothing there. A bit more. Turn around, there's the dead alien, so come back. That's cool. We'll go through the building, I guess. Okay, we 
don't really have a line of fire other than this, but he also doesn't have a line of fire if we just go away. So, Silver Knight. Why don't you run over here? Please. Thank you very much. And Bill, if you duck, maybe you have a chance. Oh, that was so close. So miraculously close. Okay. There you won't have enough, right? Right. So, maybe Savior needs 13. Okay, that could work. Turn around. And you can even do an aimed shot, so let's do it. Perfect. Not that, though. Not that just yet. Here it seems okay. Oh, there's even more aliens this way. Or at least more terrain. Seems like a bigger map. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, only 5x5 five five also. Just uh, optically bigger. Visually bigger. That's good, I think there's nobody there. But we must double check. Okay. We could uh, use a proxy grenade. No, we can't. It's still turn number 2 only. Well... Go away then. Bill, you are very exposed there. Cobalturian, can you do the same trick as the guy before you? With a snapshot maybe? Yeah, only 4%. That will not work. Okay. Guy with the sniper rifle. Come here, face that way. We do have somebody with uh, a smoke grenade, right? Where is he? CJ. Right there. Okay. So, Prime. Hmm. Nobody else? Zavis? Catch the smoke grenade? Oh, come on. Like that, perfect. Pick it up. 24, you need 13 to throw. That should be plenty. Throw it right there. Okay. Seems fine. And uh, we need to come out with uh, even more soldiers, so... You will take cover over here, Mr. Atkinson. <laughs> Always when I say Mr. Atkinson, I think about Mr. Anderson from The Matrix for some reason. <laughs> Sounds so funny. Rogular over there, that's fine. And the two of you, Hellraiser and uh, Ape, just prepare for the next turn. I think we're fine. Just double check. Prepare a grenade, maybe. Next turn we can use it already. So, prime that. Bill, actually, you know what? Two steps back. Oh, oh, you had to stand up, of course. Well, never mind. You can duck, just in case. Turn the other way around, CJ, Erbibo is fine, Order Mind, Cobalturian, Savior, Zavis, BP Roberts, Mr. Atkinson, Rogular has 20 time units. What about... I don't like... Well, there's a tree in the way. Okay, you're fine there. Hellraiser, and that's it. Next turn. That was a smoke grenade. And we have survived. So, where's my dog? Doggy, here you are. Nothing there. Okay. Nothing here. 
But there's one. Go and bite. Excellent. I think he's not dead. Floater soldier with a very funny weapon. Okay. Go back. You've done enough. Silver Knight. That's fine. We shall explore this way also. Yeah, that's okay. More than okay even. I would say this is clear. Let's double check. Rogular is a sniper. Yeah, why not? Even snipers can do some scouting from time to time and maybe kill a guy. Excellent. That was superb scouting and killing. <laughs> um, the other dog. Right here. Nothing to be seen there. I think we need you back over here, doggy. Return back. Thank you very much. And uh, we shall start using proxy grenades as well. Do we have any actually? I think I haven't equipped any. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Okay. So, reload. Can you still shoot? Yes, you can. Okay, sniper there. Savior. You're the scout now. There's the culprit. I hope you're ducking because uh, P.P. Roberts here is going to shoot. No line of fire. I guess you're not ducking then. Duck? Yes, exactly. And this is dangerous, I know. But a sniper with a sniper rifle, it's a good chance that he will not miss. Good job, E.P. Roberts. Very good job, savior. Look inside, nothing there. I think we're okay. JG. There's open field, but take cover behind that landing gear. Maybe that can help you. And I'm tempted just to send a rocket over here. If we do it something like this. 26. Shoot over here. Well, that was some bad aim. You know what? Just throw a grenade there as well. Thank you very much. I don't know if there's any aliens there, but I'm sure uh, the owners of the buildings will not mind destroying a couple of walls and things like that to get rid of the aliens. Sure they won't. Turn around. Okay, who else have we got here? Bill? I think you need also your knife now. Silver Knight, you're quite exposed there. Come over here, not enough energy. Oh, yeah. That's my bad as well. Oh. Time units. Would. No, that, that's not enough to, to prime it, right? Put this down. 25. 27. Yeah, that's not enough. Okay, anybody else? CJ. Maybe you can save him. Where are you? Far away, but it should be possible. You're not weak, so throw it right here. There, there, there. Okay, what's in your way? Sky Ranger, of course. If you try it from here, not... Oh, no. No, no, no. Come over here, put it down on the ground. Step aside. Air Bebo is weak, but Hellraiser is not. So take that. Turn around and throw it all the way here. Thank you very much, Hellraiser. You've done an excellent job. 
ape. Move closer. Billy. Over here. Thank you. Silver, you're fine. Make yourself a smaller target. Erbibo. Over this way. Thank you very much. Cobalturian. Right here. Zavis. Okay, Zavis. I really don't have any more things for you to do. Park yourself over here. You're fine, you're fine. Next turn. That was one grenade and one smoke grenade. A lot of doors opening. But we have cover here. We'll uh, even prime this one and throw it over there. Just in case. Uh, now you can't move. Really? Am I playing that bad? Okay, we can see a guy. Where is he? Over there. That's good because we can shoot with our snipers. Snipers, where are you? Show yourself. Rogular. No line of fire. I sort of thought that might be the case. There's the whole orchard in the way. But if we move over here, that might be possible. 25, but 0%. Yeah, no line of fire anyway. What about you, order mind? If you do an aimed shot, no line of fire. Well, just continue then. We'll have to figure out something else. Hmm. Yeah, I'm using too many grenades actually. And too much smoke. Okay, nothing here. Nothing there, nothing there. I think most of these guys will be inside the UFO. Nothing here either. Okay, let's go through here. Billy, come closer. We could probably shoot from over here, I would say. Or maybe even... Nah, don't know. 24. Let's try. A snapshot. Almost. Stay there. Okay, another guy. You can maybe shoot from over here. Is that possible? Yes, that is actually very much possible. You can do a snapshot as well. Nope, didn't work. We need a sniper there. Where's my snipers? One over here. Come closer. We'll need you next turn. BP Roberts, Rogulaire. Just continue scouting out this terrain over here. Nothing. Hellraiser. I think we need two guys to check this building. Nobody should go alone. That's like the first rule of XCOM. <laughs> Nobody goes alone. Okay, move there. Doggy. Hmm. Come over here. You're sort of exposed there. Second dog. You can't attack. This guy is actually in the air. Nothing here. Go back to smoke. That's fine. And uh, CJ. Okay, CJ. Any chance that you could shoot from, let's say... Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so, but... Uh, come over here. Good. Herbibo. 
behind this hedge. Maybe that should be enough cover. Duck. You're fine. Next turn. What the heck? Silver Knight has become unconscious. That was probably some sort of shotgun. He didn't die yet, so I would say we need to save him. <laughs> but uh, that's a long shot. If he has any fatal wounds, then he's dead anyway, because we won't be able to carry all that equipment. Oh, and it has been 30 minutes, but uh, I sort of want to play one mission per episode. Even though I play quite slow, I don't want to have uh, too many episodes. For a terror mission, that's fine, but these normal large scouts that should be doable in one episode, so... 94, let's actually even duck and shoot now. Excellent, CJ. Excellent job. JG. Nothing there. Come closer. Okay, so... BP Roberts. No. First this guy, Zavis. See anything there? No, you don't. Maybe we can save you by just storming the UFO. And uh, hope that you survive that long. Who knows. So let's... Uh, let's move in. Everybody who can. You will be sniping. You will be actually sniping by ducking as well. You'll be sniping just like this. Doggy from the other side. That's cool. Where is my guy with the shotgun? Oh, that is actually... <laughs> the guy with the shotgun is uh, unconscious. I really wanted to use that shotgun, but I guess I can't. Now, let's check the buildings too. Erbibo over here. Nothing. Okay, end of the turn. More guys just uh, walking inside the UFO. That's good. Come over here, open the door. Can't do that? Why not? Five time units. I'm sure you can do it. No, you can't. Okay. You? Nothing there anyway. Good. Then I think... Nothing here. Just uh, make yourself... Oh! Was that four shots? Was that four? Yes, that was four. Okay. I didn't know that. That's so sweet. Auto shot with four shots instead of three. Now I see how this weapon is good. Well, better than the rifle. Anyway. So where's my doggy? One should be over here. Oh, look at that. Very funny UFO. Looks okay though. What about you, doggy number two? See anything? Yes, you do. You might be able to kill this guy. Thank you very much. Come over here, check the rest. Nothing there, come back. Zavis? You're our... Assault force. Then uh, Bill with uh, <laughs> a loaded rocket launcher. Sorry, you 
don't get to carry a loaded rocket launcher about here. You'll just go there and uh, use your alloy knife. And the last guy over here. Let's just make this quickly. We have backup and everything. Yeah, we do. Wow, that's a big building. That Oh, these are all big buildings. Okay, I think we need to go up and check all of them eventually. Even ape. No. Yeah. No. The other ones have only two floors. These ones have three. So, come over here. Roberts, you have one frag already. Let ape do the killing next time. End the turn. We have seen something very quickly. Silver Knight unfortunately has died from a fatal wound. I really need to research medicates, but I don't know what prerequisites are there. And the, the normal first aid kits are just too heavy to carry, carry around and too bulky. Okay, nobody there. Very strange. Nobody there either. Okay, I guess that's a job for Zavis. Open this door as well. Nobody there. Can we actually... Let's try. Stun this guy. We need a lot of uh, live aliens as well. Yeah, like this one. Savior? Oh, you don't have it. No stun rod. Well, maybe Cobalturion could. Let's step aside. No, he can't. But he can throw it to you. You can pick it up. And it's too heavy for you. Nah, let's not do it. Doggy. Bite. Come on. And that's the end of the mission. XCOM operatives killed one. If we did this one turn earlier, Silver Knight wouldn't have to die. But what happened has happened. Let's recruit one more soldier, a replacement. And uh, let's save here after 37 minutes. Wow. Well, I hope you at least enjoyed the mission. In the next episode, uh, hopefully we'll have another one. Till then, bye-bye.